okay, I'm making a video this morning because people are answering me. Okay, if you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit speaks the same thing to all of his people. He doesn't tell them all different things. That's what Satan does. So if you have that spirit that's saying, oh, you, you uh, show the Bible this way, but it's not that way. Maybe you better ask for the Holy Spirit to be in you. I'm not trying to put people down, but the Holy Spirit speaks to us as one. Okay? And if you don't have the spirit of truth, you have the spirit of error. So be careful what you tell people. My interpretation, I'm not saying it's the exact right thing, but many Bible scholars are saying the same thing as me. So how could I be interpreting, interpreting it wrong? Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and others won't follow. So maybe check yourself. Maybe you're not hearing the voice of the Spirit and you're just pointing out at others because you don't have it. And you want to attack others. But you know what I read this morning? Uh, the teacher, let the person who's teaching be my teacher, but also my servant so i have knowledge of this because i pray and i cry out to god and i sing out to god 14 hours every day for the last five years so and i've watched demons be killed out of my life so i ask for the spirit of truth maybe the people that are saying oh your interpretations are wrong how do you know my interpretations are the same as Mike from around the world and Steve Quayle. You can't get better teachers than them. They speak out of truth, out of the Bible. And so do I. How does all of our stuff match and yours doesn't? Maybe you don't have the spirit of truth. Maybe you need to pray to God for the spirit of truth and clean out your house before you're pointing at others and telling them they have the misinterpretation. Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice. I hear his voice. I see him in my dreams. How many times have you seen? I've seen him three times, and I'm not trying to brag. I boast all old to God and Jesus. But I get dreams daily and, and all the time. I get prophecy all the time. So that's obviously not the spirit of truth. Or that is the spirit of truth. Sorry. And I made one prophecy that Trump wasn't going to get in months ago. So don't tell me that I don't have the spirit of truth when you don't. Put your eyes in the Bible, man. If you have any corruption in your house, especially if your old man is corrupted, your, the, the man of the house is corrupted, then the whole house is corrupted. If there's a little leaven in the bread, it leavens the whole bunch. Okay, so I'm not trying to point this at anybody. This is a whole bunch of people. I see it all over. Oh, rapture's coming, rapture's coming. No, there's no such thing as rapture. Don't tell me I'm wrong. I can prove you, I can prove it that there's no rapture all day. Jesus said it and God said it. That's good enough for me. So I don't sit here and need to fight and tell you, you have maybe have the wrong interpretation. We don't do that to the person that's teaching us. We lift them up. And the Bible talks about this, and I'm going to teach it tonight about the, the ministers that God sends here. And you don't listen to them, and you mock and scorn them and scourge them and throw things in their face and cause stumbling blocks to the one that's teaching you? Disgraceful. I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't suggest you doing it to anybody, especially the one that's teaching you. Maybe you need to find out if you have the spirit of truth in you. That's the Holy Spirit. God says, I pour out my spirit on all flesh. And Jesus says, I go to the right hand of my father and I pray to my father. And he will send you a comforter. That means not Jesus. That means the father. And he will send you a comforter. Maybe you need to get that. Cleanse out your body before you start preaching to other people what you don't know and telling other people their interpretation's wrong when you don't even have an interpretation. Ter interpretation is the Holy Spirit giving you the truth. And I'm going to play a show that will prove you tonight wrong in my interpretations. God bless. And I'm not trying to 
you know, I'm just so sick of these people scourging me. There's no such thing. It's uh, tribulation, saints. It's in the Bible. No, it's not. I asked the guy to show me. He threw me out two scriptures that didn't say tribulation, saints. I said, where is that word tribulation, saints? It's not in there, and you can't find it in there. Neither can you find rapture. So quit pointing the finger at the one that's teaching you and start looking at yourself like I do. All right. Thank you, guys. And I'm not, like I said, it's all over the place that people are to, are doing this, okay? And this is a spiritual war. And if you're against the one that is for God, then maybe you're against God and Jesus. You shouldn't be looking for the things that aren't even there in someone and pointing out something that's not in them. I have the spirit of truth. I was pulled out of my body and I was baptized with the Holy Spirit and the fire. So don't tell me my interpretation's wrong before you look at it yourself. And hey, it's not against just one person. It's against many that are doing this. You're hurting yourself when you do something. It says, what you do to these, you do to me. So if you're not hearing the voice of Jesus, you may want to try to clean your house out first and the people that are in it because they're, you don't have the spirit of truth. You have the spirit of error, which is of Satan. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth poured out on all flesh. It's not error. Okay, God bless you, man.